Welcome back friends. In this video I finished the cockpit drawings. I cut in glass my first PET foam panels, attach red wood cleats to them and install these panels into the cockpit. Let the cockpit build begin. It'll be made out of 12 millimeter foam with 400 gram double bias on both sides and a double layer on the horizontal surfaces. So the first panel I'm making is this one here. And it gets bonded to the hull. So it's that fit there is a little bit critical. I might make it a little bit oversized in certain dimensions to suit that the boat might be a bit different as built compared to the drawing. There it is. It's pretty straightforward. I've got the foam. Let's go and do it. I've never used foam before. This is PET Gerrit foam and um, it's 100 kgs per cubic meter. Um, I'm quite interested to see how I feel about using it compared to Polonia timber and already like today just doing this job that you're watching it's um, a day saved already because before I was machining and laminating and sanding the boards to make up a panel like this. So it's going to save a lot of time. The weight will be different from Polonia timber. It'll be half the weight. Um, the foam will be 7 kgs in total for this cockpit, which is the very light part of it. And the resin and cloth will, will certainly add to that weight. like it so far using the Garut PET foam. Um, it seems to absorb a similar amount of resin, it's hard to tell really, to the Polonia timber. I don't think it keeps on wicking. Because of the colour of the uh, PET and the, it's being so close to the glass and it's pretty hard to tell what's going on below the surface, it's much easier to tell with timber. So, but so far, 
reasonably happy with it. It's still pretty flexible, these panels, of course, until I get the other side on, and then it's going to be really interesting to see how much that stiffens it up and what extra glass I might have to add. But so far, so good. It's certainly, when you're trimming off um, glass like this over, off a panel, certainly pays to do it while the glass is still pretty green. I just did this late yesterday afternoon, so it's this next morning, so it trims off quite easily. I'll probably leave that last bit for sanding. And the sanding is a really different, really big difference actually. I was quite surprised at the resistance to sanding that PET has, because, um, or PET maybe most people call it. Um, I, when I cut it with a jigsaw after I'd marked it, I wanted to trim it down with the sander. It took a lot of sanding with on my orbital sander with some really rough sandpaper before I could get it down to the line. And I would have been able to do the Polonia timber in a quarter of the time. In fact, I would have had to be careful not to over sand. Not so with this stuff. Anyway, this afternoon I'll do the other side of this panel, these panels. yesterday went really well. Today I'm setting up the panels. I've sanded the hull where the, I'm going to be doing some glassing, coving and glassing later on today. And I've hot glued in these panels, screw them at the ends because it's going to be really easy to bump things around when I'm doing the glassing. But that's the next project, glassing these panels. And then I'm not sure which panel I'll make the nest next, but it probably is these side ones. So progress is happening. There you go, part of the garage door opener. My head's okay. Believe it or not, I haven't been up here since I turned the boat over. I've been so focused on the cockpit, but I'm very happy to say it exceeds my expectations in the way of how rigid it feels. I can move around on here. I can't put any flex into it with the weight of my body. Um, so I may have put a little bit too much glass into the top of this. I'm very happy with the result. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.